to do with the fact that um, as, as regards the Amatya class, for example, is uh, according to Kautilya, do you think we are lacking in a uh, very strong intellectual class that uh, can advise the king the or say the the swamin in this case the ruler or the prime minister or whatever. I agree with you Pujita. I think our administration Amatya the second element of the state is very much wanting mm. in the kind of uh, training it has the selection perhaps I don't know I have taken the UPSC myself and I don't understand what was the relevance of the stuff that I had written to any of the work that I had to do. There was no relevance. <laughs> you know, my subjects were geography and economics. Hmm. So uh, I don't understand what was the relevance of physical geography hmm. to the work that I did as an Indian Revenue Service officer. Correct. None. And uh, suppose you become an Indian Audit and Account Service officer or you become an IAS. What is the relevance of these things? Correct. So the selection process itself, I think, needs to be tweaked in some way. Mm. Then after that, also uh, the the training, mm. the kind of training that needs to be given. And I will hark back to national interest. Mm. Perhaps every bureaucrat should be taught. And, you know, we do take an oath, by the way. Mm. When okay. we join the civil services, we take an oath to serve the nation. Okay. But it's a kind of, you know, anodyne oath that I, I will mm. take, you know, uh, work for the nation and not do anything against it, that kind of thing. Perhaps it needs to be made a little more specific about how to uphold the national interest in each and every case. Right. Having said that, it is true that the Amartya class or the administration hmm. comes from the same population from all of us, from in between all of us. So the same kind of people which are there in society are going to be there in the administration. So I think hmm. we'll also have to do some introspection. Do we have, do we care enough for the national interest or we do we care for our own selfish interest? Exactly. I'm posting, exactly. How much money I'm making, you know, what kind of house I'm getting, etc, etc. Do mm. I care more for that or do I care for the national interest? So it's easy to blame any group of people, but we must introspect. The administration is just people who are part of us. They just took an exam and went there. Correct. <laughs> Very true. Very no. true. So the same thing, same problems which are there in all of us today will be reflected. Correct. Having Correct. said which, I think the selection and the training process and what they are taught. For instance, for the people who are in the Indian Foreign Service, why are there no indigenous Indic texts taught? Exactly. exactly. No answer to that. Although, oh no, there is an answer to that. So in 1947, Nehru decided that this would not be done. Because all these texts were, according to him, Brahmanical, Sanskrit, and they were only fit for throwing into the dustbin. So it is only, say, in the last 10 or 12 years, I would say 10, 15 years, that certain academies and certain uh, think tanks and research groups, IDSA is one of them, the Manohar Parker IDSA, hmm. which has started doing some excellent work on hmm. the Arthashastra, but they don't have that kind of in-depth knowledge because for that, you need people who know Sanskrit. Correct. Correct. The combining of knowledge of Sanskrit with modern subjects and uh, this kind of amalgamation so that we can use it for our own benefit is the crying need of the art. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad, Namaskar.